are golden fish. And of course, you know that there are no hiding places for, for a golden fish. Whatever Uzodima likes, whatever he likes as well, he should be doing. He should plan to go. At the end, Uzodima must surely face justice. Either jungle justice or normal legal justice. He has been killing. Soldiers under his watch are killing. Police, security outfits, vigilante formed by Hope Uzodima under his watch. They are killing, maiming, Igbo youths. And you think that human beings are just like chicken? I know that he might not be brought to book by the appropriate United Nations Department because of the kind of lackadaisical at attitude United Nations Organization, you know, uh, uh, has been, you know, uh, 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 imbibed on following things happening on this that continent called Africa. But I'm telling you that justice awaits for him. Anywhere in the world, Igbo man lives. If hope is the man goes there, he will go down. If hope is the man, hope is the man after all these killings in Igbo land. If he has comes anywhere to anywhere in the world, Antarctica, Ice World, Oceania, anywhere in the world, Hope Uzodima must be tracked down. He must pay the price of all the hostility, hostilities he committed in Igbo land. See, I don't think this time Igbo man is sleeping again to do what is needful. Everybody has woken up and we are doing, trying our best to make sure that all the perpetration, evil perpetration and wicked perpetrations in Igbo land by federal government of Nigeria, we must make sure that we take them to ICJ for proper legal what dressing. Dress. Igbo man, we are no longer mumu. Igbo man, we are no longer preliterate or illiterate. When you talk about the most intelligent, the most land race on this continent, Africa, we are the one. We are everywhere. Travelers are the best educated people. We are travelers. We adopt anybody's culture. Many of us we are born in Yoruba land. They speak Yoruba better than Yoruba man. Many of us we are born in China. Go and see the best student last year. He's an Igbo man, Igbo girl. Don't you, go, don't you spoke China fluently? Everybody listening. They are in Japan. I have my, my brother. He lives in Japan, married to a Japanese woman. What are we saying? I have many of my junior brothers. They live in the UK. One of them married a British girl. So what are you saying? We are everywhere all over the world. So after all this, wicked perpetrators may have finished serving in their various government positions. They have to run and have no hiding places because they are golden fish. And golden fish, go and ask James Hadley Chase, has no hiding place. So the, the, also, and also um, the Avidem group also told um, 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 Uzo Dima that the government should have released and now the canoe, but it's one trying to it's one sabotaging, sabotaging them not releasing canoe. It is so it is thoroughly, let me tell you, revealing, outstanding that Hope Uzodima is the one. It's the one. That's why they have been holding on the canoe for many years now. Hope Uzodima sponsored the rendition of Nan the Kano from Nairobi Kenya to Nigeria. It is no fairy tales is a household story in Igbo land to us outside Igbo land that's hope of the man current cabinet in Imo state are behind the old deal the gory condition of Nandekano presently so he did it and we know it and when time comes Appropriate major mechanism, mechanisms have been put in place to make sure that Hope Uzodoma is not gone scot-free. 
he must surely pay the price of all the inhumanity, inhuman acts he committed in Igbo land, especially in Igbo states. So all hands, I mean early tables in diaspora, all hands are on the desk to make sure that Tuzo Dumba and all his political allies in the South Eastern Nigeria will never ever go unpunished or scot free. The, those uh, American, uh, you know, military chiefs or personnel that gave this issue this warning, it's too obvious that they are from Igbo descent. That's are from Igbo extraction. Uh, they, they, they are among the people that are working hard round the clock to make sure that their friend nation comes. So the, the military personnel over there, they have always been warning Nigeria <clears throat> never to allow anything happen to Nandekano. Because if anything happens to Nandekano, they are going to invade Nigeria. I'm telling you, the kind of war that this country will witness is not uh, land the troop, you know, uh, something, one man, uh, uh, soldier to soldier, shooting themselves. No, what we are going to do this time around is going to be a precision war. If Nigeria and Biafra, you know, happens to engage themselves on another military war, I'm telling you, another war, it is going to be very, very devastating. Destructive of the highest order. Because the kind of tactics, tactical war, the modern world, you know, is witnessing recently, at least exhibited by Israel, is something that has never happened in the history of humanity. It is going to be a technological war. No matter how much Nigeria boasts they have. I think whatever they think resources-wise they have are all on the land of Biafra. The Biafra nation is the owner of the whole Niger Delta, alas. Both river states, Delta states, even the those states, they are claiming to be part of us and we welcome them. Some part of Ondo, everywhere in the southern Nigeria, largely blessed with natural endowments, are owned by Biafra Nation. So what happened is that uh, the military group in question you are talking about are made up of generals. You, can, you have heard in the recent time, the girl, the lady, a, military, a general in the, in the USA. The news filtered the whole air last year. Pepper carried it. No Igbo man is boasting of her. His native home, I think, Igbo Delta or Imo, wherever he comes from, nobody is boasting of her. We are just human beings created by God, living simple life. Are you listening to me? We are not like some extraction that if they are same with that woman, let's say if the woman comes from their own extraction, we will never, we can never rest for one month. They will be writing on the paper. They will be singing on telly. They will be boasting. Igbo has resources, human material, human resources. We are not transonical about it. We are not being transonical about it. We take every human being as our brother, fellow man. See, let me tell you, those military group in America, they will take it up against any bloody political idiots in the southeastern Nigeria that has hand on Nandekano's arrest. They are going to take it up because most of them, after the regime elapses or finishes, they are all absconding into the United States. For what? To shelter, to hide their head. But there is okay, sorry, I lost the Peter Obi has come out again to blast the... Um the Tunumu government of, I think, uh, innovators and I don't know, but I think Buari, you know, what, must we continue like this in this country? Let's like as Peter Obi has said, we can't continue like this. 
every time you know they keep wasting money, spending money um, unnecessarily. Why? Why? Let me talk. Let me talk. Kito Obi should go and close his mouth. Do you know why? When Kito Obi obviously defeated Tinubu, Kwan Kwaso and the rest of others in in 2023. Why didn't he forcefully take what he what is his? Why did he decide to go through court process? Knowing fully well that Tinubu, after buying INEC with $270 million, could buy any chief justice in Nigeria. Why didn't Obi get the wind up in time? Obi is just ranting. When we voted Obi with the Nigerian youth, we expected Obi to be behind us, to support us, so that we can take his mandate by force, so that we will overrun Nigeria by force, so that all these political which is some wizards in Nigeria, at least would have absconded into the neighboring countries and the Western world. Why didn't Obi just ginger the youth, support them financially to take what is theirs? Today, he's ranting and talking. See, let me tell you, I believe in action. I don't believe in so much, you know, verbatim, verbal shootings. I don't. Obi had everything what it takes to take, to have taken what was given to him. But look at him today. He's the only critics of the current administration. Why not resist INEC? Why not resist Tinubu? Why not go after Festus Kayamo, Mwike, and Adam Ochomole? Let them dare touch him. Let the current government dare arrest Obi, Nigerian youth. Would I what? Shut the country economically, commercially, socially down. But he was playing the role of Obi is a good boy. Obi is a reverend father. For security reasons. No, no, no. Security reasons. No. That is it. It happened in Kenya. That is it. Mandela did it. That is it. What are you saying? When there is a state of chaos. And lawlessness. That is when government should do the needful. I wonder how Tinubu would have resisted it. Because Tinubu will run. I wonder how Chetima, Kachima Chetima, a terrorist, would have resisted the whole Nigerian youth. See, let me tell you, Obi behaved like a boy. He should, he should go and sit down. 